welcome to Blog929. My name is Ted. Um, it's a yet another session of random acts of entrepreneurship. But today we're talking about cement blocks. Let me put it in another Cement blocks. Uh, in our business, we manufacture cement block machines. And these cement block machines will be used at a construction site to make cement blocks. But most of the people, most, most of the times, when they want to build a house or they want to make cement blocks, they struggle because they fail to understand how to do some calculations. Now, with experience, since we've been doing this for a long time, we have come up with some theories that we can help you to make it easier for you to do some calculations. And that's where we come coming with this topic, which we are calling how to calculate materials. So how do you calculate materials? But there are some things that you need to know, which I'm calling them important bullets. You need to understand these bullets because once you understand them, then it makes it easier for you to be able to do the calculations. It's very easy to do calculations with cement blocks because cement blocks are normally made with the same sizes. So there's a standard measure that you use, which we will say, like these particular blocks I'm talking about here, they are the 150 millimeter by 400 by 200. 150 millimeter by 400 millimeter by 200 millimeter. So these are the blocks that we are using in this example. Now, so a 150 millimeter by, by 400 and by 200 millimeter block will be the same in Malawi, in Gambia, in South Africa, wherever. You will use almost the same quantities of material. The only difference might be because of the design of the block. Some blocks have got very big hollow, they are very hollow, some of them they are close at the bottom, some of them it's just little holes around them. So there might be a little bit of discrepancy on the quantity, but it's not going to be so very far from the calculations that I'm going to give you. So, on a turn, one turn, so you have a pickup, one turn, it's loaded with quarry dust. You will be able to get 10 wheelbarrows of quarry dust. I know that the wheelbarrows are different in, in shapes and sizes and volumes, but on normal standard wheelbarrows, if you will try to get a one ton pickup, take, go to a web bridge and let it be weighed one ton of quarry dust and try to get out that, that quarry dust from that wheelbarrow, using, uh, from that uh, pickup using a wheelbarrow, you will discover that you're going to use 10 wheelbarrows that are going to come out of there. And this is something that doesn't easily change. Um, some wheelbarrows might be of different shapes, but it, on average, most of the wheelbarrows, it is going to be 10 wheelbarrows. Now, when we are making blocks, um, ourselves here in Malawi, we, the standard that we're using, we're doing with one bag of cement, we mix with five wheelbarrows. So we do uh, one bag of cement plus five wheelbarrows of quarry dust is equal to 35 cement blocks. So with one bag of cement, five wheelbarrows of quarry dust, you are going to produce, produce 35 cement blocks. All right, so you need to understand this. If you, are, if you are overfitting your wheelbarrow and you're producing more than 35 blocks, then that means that you're compromising the quality of your block. But if it's going to be less than 35, then you're still okay. But you, 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 you will be getting somewhere close to 35. Maybe sometimes 32, sometimes 35, sometimes 34, but Normally it's going to be 35, but if it starts getting to be more than 35, you're compromising the quality of the block. So on a one ton, uh, on a one ton of, uh, uh, okay, so I've actually said here, therefore, on one ton, you will get 10 wheelbarrows of quarry dust. You will get 70 cement blocks because one bag of cement plus five bags of wheelbarrows, about five, five wheelbarrows of quarry dust, you're going to get 35. But now we said on, on, a, on a ton, there's 10 wheelbarrows. So if you do another five, that means you have to do mix another bag of cement to make it 10, then it will be equal to one ton. Therefore, you will produce seven, 70 cement blocks. Huh? Out of that, so we are saying one ton of quarry dust is equal to 10 wheelbarrows of quarry dust is equal to 70 cement blocks is equal to two bags of cement blocks. So on a turn, on each turn, you should be able to use two bags of cement to make 70 blocks. But also you want to use 10 wheelbarrows uh, of current dust. So I, I, understand. I hope that it makes sense. 
I can go back again to repeat this thing so that it gets in. And the good thing about it is I've, I've put it on this uh, whiteboard because then you can watch this video and then you can be seeing what I'm talking about. I'm going to repeat this thing again. Uh, to repeat it, one ton of water dust is equal to 10 wheelbarrows of, uh, is, is, is equal to 10 wheelbarrows. So on each and every ton, you'll be able to get 10 wheelbarrows of water dust. All right? Now, when you're making a block, one bag of cement, you add with five wheelbarrows of water dust, some people are using sand, you're going to produce 35 cement blocks. Huh? One bag of cement, adding five wheelbarrows of water dust, you're going to produce 35 cement blocks. So, one bag, five wheelbarrows. Two bags, 10 wheelbarrows. So if we say two bags, and 10 wheelbarrows, automatically we're talking about one ton. So on each and every one ton, you're going to use two bags of cement so that you can mix 10 wheelbarrows of water dust, and then you'll be able to produce 35 times two, which is 70, 70 cement blocks. So, if somebody says to you, I want you to, I have got 10 tons of water dust. So how many cement blocks am I going to produce? So we know already, on the only one ton of that is going to be 70 cement blocks. So if it's 10 of them, how many is it going to be? It's going to be 700 cement blocks. So you're going to produce 700 cement blocks. And then, on one ton itself, we are doing working with two bags of cement. So how about 10 tons? It's going to be 20 bags of cement. So you need 20 bags of cement to produce 700 cement blocks from a 10 ton trip of water dust. If it's 100 tons, it works the same. If it's 75 tons, it's 30 tons, it's one ton, two tons, it works the same. So now you understand how to do the calculations on how to calculate materials for cement blocks. Next time, I'm gonna show you how to calculate materials for building your house or you're building your fence. Thank you. Don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment. If you want me to touch more subjects, please don't forget to suggest which topics you want me to talk about. Thank you.